Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully go about resolving if your C drive is full and showing a red icon, meaning that there's very little storage space available. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I recommend doing would be to open up the search menu, type in disk cleanup, best match, or come back with disk cleanup. Go ahead and open that up. You can basically check mark everything in here, and if you select any of the icons, it'll tell you what exactly it is. And like I said, you can safely delete these files. I would also include the recycling bin if there's anything in there. Just check mark next to it, and select OK, and then select Delete. And also, if you have multiple drives on your computer, make sure you selected the C drive when the Disk Cleanup Wizard opened up. And once you're done with that, you can reopen Disk Cleanup. And if you want to select where it says clean up system files, see if there's any additional files that can be cleaned up in here. You see Windows Update Cleanup in here. So Windows Update stores a lot of backup copies of updates that are already downloaded but hasn't cleared yet. You can see that we have two gigabytes worth right here just in this one item to check mark. So we're going to select OK. It's going to ask you if you want to permanently delete these files. Select Delete Files. And give it a moment here.
once that's done, hopefully now if you go back into this PC, you should notice there's more disk space available. Something else you may want to consider as well is adding another hard drive to your computer. That way you can move other programs as well as other large files to that external drive. You could even get a USB flash drive and just keep it plugged into your computer if you'd rather just do something like that. They have flash drives that are well over 128 gigabytes, 256 gigabytes even, and, and larger in size that are pretty affordable that you may want to look into. I usually recommend more of an internal hard drive, though, if you're going to be using it long term, especially if you're going to have programs you're going to be using with it frequently. Something else, and I'm kind of leading into that, would be if you want to try and remove any unused applications from your computer. So open up the search menu, type in programs. Best match, you're going to back up add or remove programs. Go ahead and open that up. And now on this list here, you might not be able to uninstall all the programs. A lot of Microsoft programs you actually can't uninstall, but a good number of them you can. And you just would go ahead and just select the three dotted icon next to the program and select uninstall. It says this app and its related info will be uninstalled. Select uninstall and give it a moment here. And it should say uninstalled. And you just kind of go down the list and then delete stuff as you see it. You can also sort by the largest files or largest programs the smallest. And that can certainly be a way to help free up some space. You see, if you don't use Microsoft OneDrive, you can free up 272 megabytes of space just by removing it. Just on my particular computer, your program might be a little bit bigger or smaller on your end. Just go ahead and select the three dot icon and then select Uninstall. And again, once you're done with that, I would suggest taking a look at your C drive usage and see if that has freed up some space. So pretty straightforward process here, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.